Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. P. And I'm reading to you again. You're going to be spoiled this year because I've read to you all year. So this book, it's a picture book, is What James Said by Liz Rosenberg, illustrated by Matt Myers. So I'm going to try to keep the glare off of this. However, I'm not positive that that's going to work, but let's see. So let's see what James says. Whoa, let me scoot this up. Title page, What James Said. So, can we decide anything by this little girl's face? I'm thinking if we were supposed to expect or suspect something, we'd think either she's looking at the mess on the floor or James said something she didn't like. Oh, that's what it looks like. Well, I am never talking to James again. We are in a fight. Apparently, James does not know this. James told Aiden, who tells everything to Hunter, who whispered it to Katie, who informed Dante, who told it to Emily, Anna, and Declan, who let Declan's little sister in on it, who told me. That I think that I'm perfect. Oh no. Maybe she is perfect. I do not think that I'm perfect. I have big feet and freckles and my hair is just plain brown. And I'm not the best speller or the best at math. I'm okay at art, but I don't brag about it. I can't help it if the art teacher likes me. Whoops. She would like James better if he paid attention, if he wasn't always cracking jokes. Knock, knock or trying to balance a feather when he's supposed to be gluing it, if he wasn't always losing his markers or saying mean things behind his friend's back. James and I used to be friends, but not anymore. I am ignoring him. Mm. What's wrong, he asked this morning. I didn't sit next to him on the bus like I always do. Oh, she's mad. I had to sit between two fifth graders. And apparently all their trash. Are you feeling okay, he asked, while we were hanging up our coats in our cubbies. Oh, still mad. I just shrugged. We have matching jackets with green turtles all over and bright green hoods. Tomorrow, I'm going to wear a different coat to school. I'm not sure he knows we're in a fight. I sat with my girlfriends at lunch and glared at him across the cafeteria. He came over and asked, do you have a stomach ache? Do you want me to walk you to the nurse? Oh, still mad. No, thank you, I said, and went and threw my lunch into the trash. I wasn't very hungry then. Later, James slid a bag of my favorite chips onto my desk, and I didn't eat them. Well, at least. Uh-oh, look it. Crabby, crabby, crabby face really crabby and then we just go to crabby and then we go to mm, i don't know maybe i'm thinking about a chip at least not right away i didn't need him and here's james he drew a funny picture of himself and almost made me laugh out loud 
Without James to talk to, the school day seemed to last forever. The clock didn't budge no matter how hard I stayed. I stared at it. It was like five minutes to three forever. Finally, we all marched down to the gym for art day. My picture of the beach was in the front of the room. <gasps> it's perfect, James said. What's that kid doing? <laughs> Look at his arms. I turned around. What? I said. I think it's perfect, James said. That's what I tell everyone. Oh, I said. Thank you. I didn't hear my name until the art teacher called it out for the third time. She looked mad by the time I got up there. I understood how James felt. She's pretty strict. And then she handed me a blue ribbon and smiled. Best of show. Every artist wants best of show. Everyone applauded, but James whistled. And he is the best whistler in our grade by far. Somebody took my picture, and the principal shook my hand. Oh, that's my thumb. <clears throat> Sorry. I thought, what's that? I couldn't wait to sit back down. I would rather draw all day than stand up in front of a bunch of people. Gosh, me too. And look at the crabby face. The crabby face changed, changed completely to... Oh my gosh. They're saying nice things about me. I'm not sure what to do. So James has the beach picture hanging in his room over his fish tank. He says the Siamese fighting fish like the painting. And I let him keep the blue ribbon that goes with it too. The ribbon used to say best of show. Oh. I wonder what she's going to do. Now it says something else instead. Best of friends. I think that that was the end. And now we're to the green page. Goodbye, boys and girls. See you next week. What James said. <laughs>